And this Albed Primer, right by my feet, do not miss it because this is 100% missable. You cannot get back here whatsoever. This is the only chance you'll have to get this this exact Albert, Albert Primer that I'm stood over. Um, and that's number 22. Yeah. Uh, into the Cloister of Trials. <laughs> Yay. Everyone's favorite Cloister of Trials. Now this one can be quite confusing, um, but I think I know exactly where I need to be going. So yeah, from here, we're trying to go onto this left side here. You just have to press confirm when the arrow is pointing the way you want it to go. Um, it's not very complicated. But it can be quite uh, annoying when it's not pointing the way you want it to go. Um, I think you can spam click it to kind of get what you want. Sometimes. Not really. It doesn't really work 100% of the time. But, you know, there's a chance. There we go. Now, this is the first place we need to put one of these uh, spheres down in. Um, it's worth bearing in mind that if you don't have any spheres on the pedestal, it you won't be able to ride it. Um, yep, just push that back in. And yeah, away we go. Now we're just going to ride this off the end because it spawns us near the other side. Um, yeah, and we want to go down here and follow it all the way down. Straight down. Because we are going to get another one of these blue spheres. Um, which. Yeah. And you don't actually need to put it in the pedestal. But yeah, it's just. You know. You can keep them in there if you want. But I guess it's quicker to just hold on to it. Back up we go. Um, now we're going to stay on the middle floor for the majority of this now. I don't think we really need to go back up to the top. Um, okay, there we go. Right. Now I'm pretty sure we go all the way to the end. Oh wait, what? That's like three or four times in a row. I did... Is the random look involved? There we go. I mean, you might have the same issue where you just keep going off the edge. I mean, I've... <laughs> I didn't expect that. But it's fine. Um, so yeah, we put the blue sphere in this slot, which opens up a little pathway. But... We don't put a blue sphere in here. Um, instead, we push this back out as we need this Bevel sphere in order to, well, ride on this thing. Now, um, yeah, straight ahead. We're gonna keep going down. We're gonna skip 
this first pathway and go to the second one. Oh my. It's it's so it just doesn't work. <laughs> there we go. I think you kinda gotta time it, but sometimes it's going the wrong way the whole time you're going over it. But yeah, that's fine. So now we pick up this green sphere here. Uh, this is the sphere we use in order to unlock the destruction sphere. Um, back in the section we just came from, actually. Um, the next aisle over. So this is going to go in that direction. There we go. Luckily, we caught it. Caught it. Um, and now we can run it over there and put this in there. The glyph sphere in. And we get the destruction sphere. Um, from here, I um, don't bother picking up the blue sphere because it'll only. Oh, will it? Oh no, you can't put it down. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, don't bother picking up the blue sphere because you won't be able to take them all at the same time. Um, I'm trying to think, where do we go now? Oh yeah, I think it's just the. Yeah, it's the aisle next to it again. So I call it the middle one. Um, oh my! It just wasn't the, it just wasn't the point in the right way. I don't think there's really that much you can do about it. I don't know if it's just random luck or or what. But it's fine. We made it. Um. Now we put the destruction sphere in this slot. Which then opens up the exit. Easy. Um, now we can go back and grab that other blue sphere. As long as I don't go off the edge again. Yes! <laughs> Saved it. And then we can grab this one. I want to know what's through that door. That was just in front of us then. Can't see it now from this angle, but yeah. Pretty uh, mysterious. So now, oh yeah. So it's the no, no, no. You're kidding. You're kidding. I have to go all the way down to come back up. Okay. Uh, now it's this first one. Yeah. It's just, just spammed it and got lucky. Um, so now we just keep going, push it along. Um, and now we can go up towards the top. Since we've got these two spheres, we can we can actually get the the hidden chest. So, I mean, there is one chest here, but then there's another one, which you need this blue sphere for. Because you need a blue sphere to ride the pedestal into the area where the other chest is. And so you stand on the square, and that'll summon the pedestal. And this is the end of the Cloister of Trials. See, it's not 
too hard if you know the order. It's just annoying because it just seems like there's some random luck involved. And no one likes that. <laughs> no one likes random luck in these sort of things.